this spot, we're going to be having a look at the legendary comic book heroes Rip Claw. Right there. Um, before I actually begin, I want to point out as well that I have, once again, a new backdrop. I went with something a little darker, so hopefully the figure do stand out. Also, before I review the figure, I've got something else I got to do. Uh, what is it? What is it? Ah, you know, you know. Before I review, today's energy drink will be Amp Energy Green Tea. Restores vitality. Will it? I don't know. Let's have it. Let's open it up. I'm going to be doing a series of these uh, legendary superheroes, comic book heroes. So I figured before I do it, I'm going to get some energy in me. That's actually pretty good. I've never had this flavor before. It actually, it doesn't really taste like an energy drink. It kind of tastes like a green tea ginger ale. That's really good though. So if you if you want an energy drink and you like ginger ale, definitely want to get Emp Energy Green Tea. No, I also don't get any, uh, I don't get anything for plugging these energy drinks, sadly. I only do it for my, myself, but let's move on so today we're gonna to be having a look at Rip Claw uh, this comes to us from the pit series uh, truth be told the only reason why I picked up this series there were actually a couple of figures I were interested or I was interested in but uh, the main reason why I got the set was because I wanted to actually get pit I've always really liked pit I know many people consider him to be a bit of a ripoff of Hulk but uh, I thought the figure looked awesome and uh, I either had the chance to buy a, a fully built pit on eBay, and I think the gentleman wanted like $65 or something for it. And I, and I was this close to picking him up. I was this close to, to buying it. And then I, I scrolled down, and I noticed the guy, another guy um, had the full set. He had the full set of six figures, and he wanted 70 for it. So I'm like, hmm, I can either buy this one for 65 or I can buy the whole series and have pit for five dollars more well I, I don't have to tell you which one I went with um, but let's have a look at the packaging I do actually like the top here the legendary comic book heroes um, it's very reminiscent of some of the older carded figures I think from from the 90s um, very very nice um, now this this one does come with the right arm of Pitt uh, Rip Claw here Ripclaw is from of course Cyber Force for those who have followed the Image Comics Cyber Force comic series. Um, I actually, I like Rip Claw. I, I do like him quite a bit. Uh, on the side, there's all the characters featured. There's Rip Claw, there's Madman, Super Patriot, there's Judge Dredd, um, there's Witchblade, and then there's Savage Dragon. And to, you can build all the pieces to make Pit here. On the back, um, there's just a bit read up here. It says, Orphaned in his youth, Robert Bearclaw was raised by the shaman of his tribe and taught through ritual how to enter another plane of existence, along, uh, allowing, among other things, for visions of the past, present, and future. Robert's life was changed forever when captured by the evil cyberdata corporations whose experiment bonded Robert's body with a cybernetic implants based on alien technology. <coughs> Rip off! <coughs> Wolverine! Um... I got off to topic here. Uh, giving rise to a hero known as Ripclaw. Now Robert's in innate ability to assume animalistic attributes at will, coupled with razor cybernetic replacements of his hands, which can now transform into razor sharp claws, are forced to be reckoned with. Uh, after breaking free of the yoke of Cyberdata's control, Robert... Robert joined the ragtag group of heroes known as Cyberforce, where Robert's for fierce beliefs are put to the test in the life or death struggle to protect the human race. So there you go. There's Ripclaw. And then, of course, another closer look at all the figures in the wave there. Ripclaw, Judge Dredd, all the other characters. The really cool pit, which I'm looking forward to putting together. And proof of purchase. So there you have packaging on Ripclaw. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a brief break and open this guy up and we will get a closer look at Ripclaw. So stay now, tuned. Now, I made fun of this guy during the package end of this review. Um, I have to say, though, I mean, he's he's not really a ripoff of Wolverine. Yeah, you know, he's got, these, he's got the claws. He's got the alien-fused shell, I guess. 
But you know what? I mean, comics nowadays, it, you walk such a fine line before you start uh, ripping off another character. I mean, good ideas are very few and far between anymore. Um, I actually have to say, though, I, I, I like Rip Claw. I, I always thought he, he had a nice look to him. And uh, I, I used to... I wasn't, all, I wasn't into a fan of... Um, I wasn't a fan of Cyberforce, but I was a, f a huge fan of, of Wildcats back in the day. And uh, the couple of issues I read where Ripclaw teamed up with... I uh, can't remember that guy's name. The guy with the, the green ponytail. I'll throw it in here anyways, but... Um, now nah, I can't remember the guy's name. But anyways, uh, I did actually like when the two of them teamed up. I thought that was neat. Ripclaw has a neat look to him. I mean, I like the white... Uh, the face paint kind of is reminiscent of like an Omega Red. He's got kind of like an Omega Red Samurai kind of look to him. I think he's really, really neat. Um, one thing too is, as well is from... There was a reviewer, or yeah, there was a reviewer on YouTube that, that asked me, how come I never show the back of my characters? So I'm going to try to start doing back shots of, of the characters as well, just so you guys can get a full feel for the character. I think it was from Brazil with love. So, dude, this this is for you. I'm gonna start showing the backs of the figures here, so you guys can get a full detailed look. There's a detailed look on the claw here. Um, as you can see, there's articulation, individual articulation in all the claws. The only downside to it is that the fingers are are inside. I don't know if does that make sense. So, like the hands is here, but then the fingernails are inside. So it, it doesn't. It would have been nice if the hand just was as wide, like the fingers were as wide. But it's nice that there's articulation there. Um, there's articulation in the head. And there's articulation in the torso, in the waist, uh, shoulders, arms, in the elbow, in the hand. Same thing as you would get with a Marvel Legend. There's articulation in the thigh, the knee. Two points, actually, in the knee. Also in the foot and in the toe. One thing I have to point out, too, is I really like the color scheme on the... I think it's actually raining right now. Um, but I do actually like the detailing and the paint scheme on Ripclaw. I think it's a really, really nice paint scheme. Uh, the white with the red, I think, really shows up really, really well. And uh, actually, Ripclaw, Judge Dredd, and the Witch Blade, I think, were the ones I really, really wanted to get from this series. So having now gotten the Ripclaw, I am really, really happy to have picked him up. Um, so put him here. Uh, his one accessory is the very large pit arm. Just to give you guys a scale comparison here, here here's Rip Claw. Here's Pit's hand. Isn't that isn't that insane? Look at the size of the two arms here. So just to give you guys an idea though of how large this Pit figure is going to be, I think this figure is probably going to be almost as large as the Marvel Select Red Hulk. Just to kind of give you guys a comparison. When I do actually put the pit together, I'll I'll uh, I'll actually do um, when I put the figure together, I'll do a comparison of the two. Now the only problem is my fabric, I think, is not going to stand these figures very well, which I'm starting to see now. Stay. Um, looking at Pitt's arm, though, really, really detailed. I'll get into this more as the figure, when I put the figure together. But I just also want to point out, to the articulation on the hand. There's articulation in the hand, and then also in the individual fingers. And also in the knuckle as well. Can you see that? That's Look how detailed and articulated that is. That's awesome. So I, I am psyched about getting this guy put together. Uh, I am looking forward to it. But... Putting that aside and picking up Ripclaw here, definitely want to recommend Ripclaw. Um, don't don't give him a hard time because he's kind of like Wolverine. Um, I think the character does look really really nice, and uh, I really like the coloring that they've done on it. So there you have a toy spot on the legendary comic book heroes Ripclaw. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and with that, I'll see you guys next time.